Hi, it's Brooke, and today I'm going to be participating in the Spring DIY and Decor Challenge put on by Christina at the DIY Mommy, and I've decided to make some fabric carrots. I will go through with you how I made these cute little carrots from fabric and hot glue and a little thread and then the raffia stems, and then we are going to decorate one of my cheer trays together using these new carrots. So let's get creating. So to make these carrots, I just got some gray checked fabric from Hobby Lobby and they have all sorts of colors. And I noticed that there's a lot of like black and white buffalo check fabric carrots that you can buy, but no gray. And I wanted to do gray with my decor. So that's why I decided to make some. So fabrics from Hobby Lobby, I found the raffia also at Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% off of this and the fabric. I've seen green raffia at the Dollar Tree, but of course I couldn't find any when I needed it. And then I just got a ruler and a pencil to draw lines on my fabric to make the pennant shapes. And then a good pair of fabric scissors and then needle and thread to sew up the top on the carrots to cinch it closed. And then also my hot glue gun. And I just have a little hot glue gun from Hobby Lobby and it's just a low temp one. To start my carrots, as you can see, I drew some triangles here on my checkered fabric. And what I did is I just took my ruler and I measured four inches over. And then I went down eight inches. And then to do that one, to get, you want the point in the center of the top. So then you go over two, and then over four, and over four. And then I went over four more here. So I have two, two, and two. So then I can make three carrots, because you're going to need two triangles per carrot. And I just did this lightly with my mechanical pencil. So now I can go and cut out my carrots and put them together. So I got two carrots put together so far and I wanted to put a couple together first before I show you guys how to do it so I can show you the best way that I found to do it. So that's what we're going to make here. You want to take it and put the nice sides towards each other in the middle because I do have pencil lines on one side and line them up best you can here and mine aren't perfect as you can see I can't cut very straight and so what I did is I first take and do the tip but you don't want to do clear down at the tip because it just gets kinda full of glue and so I'm just gonna go right here to the little line that is there and you want to put a pretty good bead of glue and then push that down with like a gentle touch. I just kind of push it down so it doesn't squeeze out the sides and burn my finger either. You do get glue kind of on your table, so if you want to protect your surface, use a mat. Our table's beat up. I'm just doing it. So now you have it glued together at the tip. And then the first one I did, I was trying to do like a really skinny bead and that didn't work. So you got to do, you know, not like a huge glop of glue, but a pretty, you know, good strip of glue. And I just do a little bit and then lay this down and then just lightly rub over it. I found is the best way here to seal it in. 
and to make my seam. And then I do, so I did that side and then I'm gonna come and do the other side. So I don't go all the way up, I just go back and forth from side to side. Then if some leaks out on the side, usually once it dries, you can just kinda peel it a little bit or take your scissors to it here. So I don't pull the strings weird. So now I'm just gonna finish off gluing. Okay, now I have it completely glued all the way around the edges. I'm just gonna run my fingers over them, make sure they're good and tight, and then just inside out your triangle. And I do have a my pencil here to kind of like stick down the hole, and I don't have the let out because I don't wanna like push it. But as you're doing it, you can kind of see how like secure your Seam is just in case you need to go re hot glue. And this is not the easiest thing to inside out and trying all sorts of things to get the tip down as far as you can. So I got the tip out pretty good. And then I just have an old pillow here that I wasn't using. And so I just cut a little hole in the guy and I just pull out his stuffing. And that's what I use for my stuffing material. And it's kind of lumpy and, you know, so I kind of like take it apart and shred it. But you can use any fill you can get from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or your craft store. But I just had this old pill on hand and was going to get rid of it anyway, so I've just been using it for my stuffing. Okay, I have it all stuffed, and when I, I mean, you can stuff it however you want, but I kind of make it so it's really stuffed until I almost think it's overflowed, and then I'm going to sew around the top and then squeeze it together. So you just take your needle and thread. I'm using white thread. You kind of can see the thread on the top if you look, like, really close in there. You can kind of see it, so I mean, I probably wouldn't use red unless your carrots are red. So I'm going to sew around the top, get my knot in my string here, and I'm just going to start at one of the seams, and I'm starting like right here, real close to the top, and then my knot, and then you want to go next to it. just a little ways over. I don't know what kind of stitch this is called. And then you go back out a little ways over. And then back in. And then back out. And you can see when I pull it now, it'll like tighten up. So I gotta go a little farther and then it'll tighten up more, obviously. Okay, so I've stitched all the way around and now I can tighten it here. I gotta shove back in my stuff, it keeps popping out on me. So you just tighten it and then it'll close up. But before I do that, I wanna put in my, my raffia. I cut off my big stuff here and I just kinda measured it out how far I would want it and then a little extra and so I get the bottom as level as I can here and then I take it and I go down in the middle this is really popping out on me I go down in the middle kind of make a hole and then I take my hot glue gun and squirt some hot glue down in there and then stick that down in there press it in there for a minute just to give it a little bit of extra support and stability and then I'm going to tighten her back up so now you want to pull it tight and my needle is still threaded and you're going to take your needle and thread and you're going to kind of like weave through to the other side to kind of you know make it 
stay, you know, go from one side to the next. It's hard to see without my, my stem in the way. And then you can pull it tight. So you're trying to like, but be careful so you don't like pop it open, you know. So there, I'm getting it. So it pulls tight. And then I kind of push down, you know, the seam as best I can as I'm doing this. So I'm going to get that all sealed up here and then I'll show you how I finish off my carrot. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little piece of raffia that I trimmed off the top here and then just wrap it around the base of my stem. I might want a little bigger piece here. And then it kind of covers up all my stitching there a little bit and just gives it a little finished look as you can kind of see on these other ones. Now that you've seen how I made the carrots, let's decorate my cheered tray with them. So I was going through Pinterest and Instagram and I found this photo on both Pinterest and Instagram and then I'll link it down below like I always do. So here's the photo of the tiered tray that is going to inspire my tiered tray. And I'm not going to do it nearly as neutral as this one is because that's just not how I roll. Why I wanted to do this one is I had picked up a bunny very similar to that off of marshalls.com. So this was kind of the starting point for that and then I just went through my stuff and picked out stuff that was similar that would kind of fit the same and we're gonna decorate my tiered tray with it and so when I saw this picture and I saw the carrots up here in the cup um, I was like I need to make some because I didn't want orange I did want it a little more neutral so I and I have only orange carrots so that's what led to me making my little gray check carrots too so that's what inspired like I wanted to use this bunny found this and then said I need to make some carrots so in the picture it shows that spring with the carrots well I don't have a little white thing like that but I do have this cute little metal olive bucket and I'm just going to stick my little carrots in there like the bunnies here and then there's like an egg here I'm going to take and I did get the set of Ray Dunn eggs off of tjmax.com. I wanted these so bad, so I splurged and got them. And we're just gonna stick the little hop right there. There's hop, bunny, chirp, and chick. And I'm gonna use both of the bunnies on, the bunny themed ones on this one. And then in the back behind the bunny, there's some greenery. And so I got this jar at Hobby Lobby, and I just love how it's like decaled. And then lavender is one of my favorite things to decorate with so I just stuck it in the top here and we're gonna put it back here to give some dimension to that and some height and there's some flowers and greenery in the front and the most similar flowers I have are these white ones and these are from Hobby Lobby over by like the wedding stuff and so I'm going to kind of stick the flower I think over here and then I picked up, I grabbed some of my lamb's ear from downstairs. We're gonna put that in the greenery. So there's my top for now. And so now let's fill in the bottom. And in the picture, they have a little um, planter with some greenery coming, like white bald greenery coming out of it. Well, I don't have that. And I have this little metal basket. So I just filled it with some eggs that I had from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I'm just gonna stick that off to the side because I do have these, this hanging succulent. So I thought that would be a good mix, you know, similar to that, but then it kind of matches the rest of my stuff and adds a little more color like I like. And then they have a Hello Spring sign in the middle. I don't have that. So the closest thing I could find that would maybe fit here that I like the colors with was this little Easter scrolly sign. And this is just from Target several years ago. So they have some Easter eggs and bunnies over here. So I have the bunny. And then I picked up this cute little jar from Walmart. And it does open. And so, but it kind of seals funny. So you got to situate it just so. So I'm going to stick this kind of over here. Oh, no, I was wondering. Can't put the riser in, it's too tall. So we'll just set it here. 
And then I'm going to set this other egg, and I have one of those wood slices that you can get from Hobby Lobby or Walmart in the wedding section or back in the wood pile section. So we're just going to put that in here like that. And then if you see in the picture, it has this dangly little bunny right there. Well, I don't have that, but I do have this M beaded garland that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby in the fall. And so we're just going to set that over here like this. And I have some more lamb's ear and the white flower that I had up on the top. And then I like to fill in my back here so it doesn't look so empty. So I just have a white little lantern, ceramic lantern. And then um, just to add a little bit more to the bunny theme, I have one of the moss bunnies from Hobby Lobby. And so when I was looking at this, I feel like it needs just a little bit more fill-in spots and there are some eggs and more greenery in the picture on this. So I am just going to take some little eggs that I have from Hobby Lobby, bags of colored eggs that you can get, and then I have some moss stones from the Dollar Tree that I'm just going to fill this in a little bit with. And then maybe a moss egg over there. I kind of like the moss over here. Um, and then I had a couple, put a couple eggs up here and another moss stone maybe over here a little bit. I'm going to try to keep this low so you can still see the Easter in it. So there's my Easter tier tray using my DIY gray check carrots. And I think it turned out just super cute. And I love using those inspiring photos um, that I find and then using my stuff or maybe a few things that I've picked up to recreate it in my style. If it's not necessarily my style where that was very neutral and I'm a little more colorful. I like to use the pastels and everything for Easter. So I hope you enjoyed my spring DIY and decor challenge video. Hit that like button and subscribe and hello, welcome, and I will see you in the next one.